Good morning, what's up? Hello from Sofia. I'm leaving the city by car today. I got a cappuccino from Vanya who works in the corner store right here. And for one lava and 10 cents, she makes me a pretty big cappuccino. Normal coffee is 60 cents, add some milk at 70. Cappuccino is 110, so for 50 cents you have a pretty good cup of coffee. It's very strong. Um, lady is very sweet, she always says hello, makes a little uh, conversation, some chit chat. So um, now I got this car from Horizon Group, which is a rental car firm here in Sofia, owned by a Dutch guy named Arendt. He rented me this car for 23 euros a day. It's uh, pretty good. So let's head out. Heide. First stop here by the road on the way to the village Dolno Senovo, where I've been eight years ago and I attended a uh, Pomak wedding. Uh, the Pomaks are the Bulgarian Turks, let's say, who were at some point transitioned to Islam during the Ottoman era and they haven't changed back essentially. Whereas a lot of Pomaks left to, uh, to Turkey after uh, the fall of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, some remained in the Bulgarian mountains and some are here in the uh, area of Bansko. There are many in the Rodops, many in the northeast of Bulgaria as well. Uh, in Sofia and the northwest there's basically none. It really depends on the area. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I am in Dolno Senovo. This is the village where I was once invited to a wedding. I wasn't really vlogging back then, but there were all these people in colorful clothes, wearing headscarves as well. And there was uh, lots of food, people treating you with uh, whatever they had. And it was very, very cool. Although it's a long time ago, the people are still just as nice. The center has a little square here with lots of cafes and uh, just people hanging out. There's not too much going on. And definitely it is a bit as if you're in uh, Turkey because the influence has been very, very strong for many centuries and it's never really left, let's say. So there's cafes, there's everything. But the curious thing is that uh, people do drink beer here and they love to party. So it's not truly as if you're in uh, Turkey. It's truly a mix. The Balkans is a mix of everything. And so is Dolno Senovo. That makes it kind of cool. So these wooden structures there on the hill are used to grow tobacco under. And tobacco is grown mostly in the south of Bulgaria. So just south of the Rila Mountains here in uh, Dolno Senovo, but also in the eastern Rodops near, uh, well, western Rodops near Kujali, let's say, a bit west of Kujali. That's where they also grow tobacco and the harvests are not that great the latest years so it becomes less and less uh, popular as a way to make money because there's just not much money in it anymore but it used to be very big uh, tobacco in Bulgaria not anymore I see no plants or anything whatsoever under these things so I guess uh, it's just another tradition that's gone Huh? 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 Huh?